Okay, in this tutorial we're going to showcase some advanced roof techniques with Plusbeck for SketchUp and we're going to focus on how you can create roofs with cutouts and also adjust ridge lines if you need to. So this is a pretty common shape that we are given from customers or potential customers and you could always generate right click walls, generate roof from walls but my first floor or ground floor, whatever you want to call it is all in a loop. So if I try to generate my roof here, it's trying to generate it over everything. Which means if you are gonna do this strategy, you're gonna actually have to manipulate this face. So if I just bring it out, you would end up having to use the SketchUp tools and go in and basically cut out the parts that you don't want and then delete them. And that's fine for basic kind of shapes. However, in advanced or more complex or bespoke jobs, you're going to need to manually generate your roof face anyway. So it's good practice to get used to doing it, especially in these kinds of circumstances. So I'm going to show you how. All you need to do is uh, go into the SketchUp line tool or rectangle tool, doesn't really matter which, and then you're just going to start drawing. And you're going to make sure that you're being accurate though and that you're spanning it where you want it. Now I'm putting it over the uh, my internal wall and then I'm going to the external side and then over here and then I'm going to delete that little line. I'm going to show you what I've done. I'm just going to copy this face out to the side. So again, pretty basic face that I've created. However, when people, even though they're trying, they've done the job here to basically create the cutout, when they actually generate the roof, they will still put an eave on or an overhang and this is obviously going to be problematic. So when you press submit, if I just hide this joist here, you're going to see that the roof will go through the, the walls. Obviously it's, it's putting in the overhang. And so with Plusbeck, it's actually best practice to not try and remove sections of your roof after the fact. It's better off doing it before. So I'm going to show you how. So to do this, we're actually going to create our own manual overhangs instead. So we're basically going to be clicking into the face and we're going to be selecting the lines that we want to edit. So I'm just left clicking the line and I can use the move key now. So the M on the keyboard and I can manually type in the Eve. And by the way, if you have a roof type that you're trying to create that has different overhang sizes on each kind of edge or on each side, this is how you're going to do it. But for me, I'm just going to keep each side the same. So I want there to be an overhang here. I want an overhang on this side also. And I also want one more overhang and that will be on this side. Move it out. Great. So I am saying that I want my eaves to be everywhere other than along this external cladding. And now I'm going to click into my roof and I'm going, to, I'm going to do the exact same thing, except I'm going to change my overhang or my soffit or eave to zero. And now press submit. Now, if you're happy with this shape and you're just trying to achieve a standard hip and valley roof, then that's perfect. However, you can continue to manipulate this. It is worth noting if you double click in, you will still have the gutter on these sides. So if you don't want them there, you can just delete them. However, if you do change your roof, they will be regenerated. But again, as you can see, very quick way just to delete them if you want to. Now, for example, I might want this edge to um, raise up so I can go into my roof and I can go and add a gable, select this side, and I'm going to turn it to the uh, 90 degrees or if using pitch ratio that's 1 is to 0 and I'm going to choose a 0 gable overhang too because I don't want there to be an eave or gable on that side and when I'm happy I just press submit and that's fine and again if you're wanting this shape uh, and you're wanting to infill this or you know add glazing or uh, cladding or whatever then you can do that however it's important to note that there are two different ridge lines because you've got a small or this, this particular wall is smaller than the other wall, so they are clearly uh, pitching the ridge at different points. 
So I'm going to show you how you can raise a ridgeline. Now you can't actually lower a ridgeline at this stage. There is a different technique and we'll discuss that in other tutorials, but basically it is right click, remove face, and then you regenerate the edges that are required. However, for this one, we're going to turn off 21 capping and we can take a simple measurement. Okay, and then I can turn my capping back on and I can right click and I can go into add gable and I'm going to select this edge now. Now when this dialog opens, I still want to keep it a zero overhang, but this time I want to tick reverse Dutch gable jerk and head because that's what's going to raise my ridge line. And then obviously I type in the number, I've already done that and press submit. And now you can see you've raised your ridge line. Now this shape actually works well. If I double click back in, you can see that it doesn't even include the gutter here. Now there's one last component that you need to understand with this and that is when Plusbeck automatically creates your roof with an eave or an overhang, the overhang obviously continues down past the pitching point, but the pitching point when you do it manually with the zero overhang is, uh, it's all at that level. So you now need to grab or select your roof and move it down to suit the overhang. Uh, now, if you don't know what that is, it can be good practice to simply actually generate another roof. So I'm just gonna go generate roof from walls. And this one, you don't use the zero and you're gonna put in the same overhang that you want. And that in this case was this, press submit. Now I'm just using this roof as a reference because now I can see where my fascia and gutter needs to be again. So I can grab that top roof here. I can select the bottom and I can lower it down into position. I can then now grab my temporary roof that I was using just as an example and delete it. And then now I can delete my, the face that I used to generate uh, my roof in the first place.